Yo, 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 agua. Eu só cheguei em pano, cheguei em zé. Não sou meu vai se na tua gula. É. Eu sou a vida e a sede. Like. Put on the wet clothes, dark. I don't know what Jamaica hat like a fire. So I'm put on the wet clothes, they come like a mash me up. Jamaica hat, hat. Alright, now I tell you, say, who will me mash up me? I tell you, mash up like a dog puss. Mash up like a puss pit me. Yeah. So I just. I check in because I just eat some food and I don't want to go to sleep with the food. You hear me sound like a bus run over me. Somebody asked me what I'm to done you. Um, I don't know um, if there's any news about Dan Youth. Last time I checked him out, right? Mm-hmm. Empress Wendy, big up herself. No, it's not when I eat, you know, Miss Goddess. Uh, the, 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 I put on the wet clothes yesterday. I was shooting a video, and, you know, the whelp of sweat. And then I got to do a scene, and I had to put on the wet clothes, and she me put on the wet clothes now. Come like it mash me up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good, man. By tomorrow, I'm up and running, man. By yeah, tomorrow, I'm good. Because I have what power work to do. I can have a sing, because I'm not a vice. Vice gone. Gone. Good to me have no show this weekend. Yeah. Vice gone. I could even work out this morning, star. So I must have drink some buckles. You know, so I have... You know, I'm not sitting there. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to use some mental crystal in a minute. Some mental crystal and, you know, clean out the, the sitting there. If me did, if me did there, you know, the best thing for this now, this, this needs some Congo, Congo medicine. This needs some sea mass and tambourine seed. Sea mass and tambourine. You see, me there. You know, so I could I get some seamus and tambourine right now, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm a good man. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. So you are you are guano. You are guano. No, no, no. Somebody said white room. And the white room are the thing in there. This me used to them feel better, you know. That's something. When I make sense, I want to have this now in the house. This. This me rub up with today. And from I rub up with this, I go all asleep. Yeah, mama wake up and I feel much better. I just rub up with this. Rub up with this bread, you know, I go all asleep. When I wake up, I sweat like a pig. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chantel. Yeah, I put on some wet clothes yesterday, come like. Yeah, I'm gonna rub up with this today. Make sure you have this in your house, man. But one piece of sweat, I put on my sweat, my sweat like a pig. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I have a wicked headache this time, at least. He said, my head, my head that killed me, man. I mean, I have a wicked headache. I'm a good, you know, my headache gone, I'm gonna get better. So I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so you are going to, you want to talk about, you want to talk about church business. You can hear me, right? I don't know if you can hear me, because I can't really talk loud on this. So I want to talk about some church business, you know. So I don't know if you can hear me. I can reason about some church business. All right? I reason about some church business. No. Just know say the worry is about is just because it's not the social space and we're gonna talk about it, see? Because it's not the social space. Alright, so we're gonna reason about it. See? Now <laughs> I'm 
gonna pray about it first. <laughs> I'm gonna pray about it first before my talk. I'm gonna pray about it. Clasp your hands and close your eyes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna pray about it. Alright? Because anything I need, hold up a prayer, you know. Hold up a prayer for that body and sit here. I will pray about it. My mom is telling me for me, right? For me, God is an inner thing. God for me is in everything. Right? So, when people talk about God, you know, their concept of God may be different from my concept of God. To me, God is our love. God is, you know, not defined by gender and God is not limited to time or space. You understand, you understand what I say? To me, God was not created and to me there is no beginning and no end when it comes down to God. So in other words, time. God for me is not um you know, limited to time, space, or any of them things. Then, what am my definition of God? When I think, when I talk about God. Then, I think about God, I think about God as energy. I think about God as, you know, nothing that can be created or destroyed. Then, we really, think about God, I think about God. But just think that, you know, it's not limited, whatever it is. Whatever it is, make, we make all of this happen. You know, the universe, the earth, all of them things, eh, is not limited, are not confined, are not defined. In other way, all mankind, you know, define, define it, you know. So that's my concept of God. So I always get a problem with people. So when we talk about God, you know, because me not really look at God the way how them look at God. Me and them have always have conflict. But to each his own state, if a person believes that God is the door, well, that person has the right to believe that God is the door. Right? That, that's how we grow to. If a person wants to believe that God is in the sky, well, I hear belief that. And as long as you know, I try to force your belief on me, and I tell myself, I have to believe. When, when people clash now, it's when I tell myself, my idea of God or my concept of God is, you know, not real or, or it not mean nothing. And their concept of God is what I should follow or I should subscribe to. I mean, I say, no, you know, none of we never, none of we not have no proof of when, of how this whole thing started, how man was created. Or how man came about, if you want to call it created, even though nothing can be created, everything is just formed. If you want to have an idea that, you know, an, a thought that when we're dead, we are going to go in heaven and we are going to hell, you know, you can't prove it. No, no, we can't prove that. So, all that we just argue back and forth and we just argue in vain. Because no, no, we can't prove nothing. We can't prove nothing. And because of the unknown, Man created concepts to explain the unknown. You understand what I say? No. When it comes down to forcing what you believe in on people, you're going to always run into problems with people. You understand? You're going to run into problems with people when you are trying to force what you believe in on people. So if me believe say your God is a tree, me not have to force you to believe that God is a tree. You see? You must be free. You know? According to what people teach you, them say you have, you know, freedom of will. You see? Eh? Which is not really freedom of will. Because we still I go get some form of punishment for the freedom where them claim where, 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 you know the narrative. But with that said, we see 
Minister Marian Hall put up a go for me, see? And I see it a circulate and you know. And the go for me it has say she won two million dollars for build a church and to create a ministry. Now in my view, two million dollars US dollars to start a ministry. It um it sounds overly ambitious in if you ask me. And it sounds like it sounds too glamorous to me. It sounds overly ambitious, it sounds glamorous, it sounds it sound mega, it sounds it does sound you know. Yeah. And that that's how it sounds to me. You see? That's how it sounds to me. So I said two million dollars for Billa Church. Wow. Well, no, no, why no, why no, one second. Rich me up on my life. Yeah. So, two million dollars for build a church, it kind of sounds a way still, in my opinion still. But, you don't know, say, a minister always, always want to do things, you know, in a kind of, you know, when they call it outlandish, and I say the right word, help me out there. You know, it's like, the minister thing of you always turn up. You know, in our in our layman's term, the minister thing of you always vote. So two million dollars. When you tell people say you want two million dollars to go build a church, in my view, you know that two million dollars they go turn off enough people, you know. Because you will go go on now. Once people hear two million dollars, and the man thinks there's a big mega church that. Are, you want to build, you know. You really say you want $2 million to build a hospital. You know, so maybe you'll have a better chance of getting even more 20000 Because you're, you're going to struggle to get that $2 million. You're not going to get that $2 million. I'm sure of that. I'm 100% sure so you're not going to get you're not get that $2 million. You see? If it's you want two million dollars to build one cancer, one cancer, um, you know, research facility or something, you have a better chance. If it's you want two million dollars to, you know, do some things that can positively impact the lives of people, I think they'll have a better chance than two million dollars to build a church when nowadays people not even go to church again nowadays people not go to church, not, not even go to church again you know. people realize say yo they can stay right in the house and worship they can stay upon the phone and worship they can go on youtube and join worship and and some people still want to go in the house of the lord house of the lord to worship but the people are say yo they want you want two million dollars to go build a church. You know, so people are going to beat you. People are going to push back. People are going to mock you. People are going to ridicule you. People are going to chat you. People are going to comment all manner of things. People are going to say all manner of things because in this time of age, nobody now look for them to give you no support in a building a two million dollar mega church. And the way how enough how we grow up, I know for we as Jamaicans and even you know to a like a wider audience. Most of we were grew up in our church system. We are accustomed to starting with one little church. And then 
the members, the members them grew. So we, we, we have come from the idea of starting one little thing. Like, I remember church on the rock was a little thing. And then they build it to this big mega, mega church until they buy up the whole of the land around the sun and so forth. So in my view, if you really want to build a place of worship, and you want to build a place to get people to fellowship with you, in my view, you, know, you have to start small, you know. You have to tell the people, them, say, yo, you find one piece of land. And the land can't be too expensive now. It has to be like, yo, find one piece of land for, you know, maybe one $10 million. One $15 million. You see? And here what you do now. You put all a tent. You have to know, you have to put a tent upon all a piece of land there, you know. And you have to run out some crusade. You see? No, any of riches are coming again. I'm sure to God say. I'm yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so I say, you have to come so boom and you have to buy a piece of land and you have, maybe you have to go in your own pocket too, you know, and buy a piece of land, you know. You see? And when you buy a piece of land, you have to put one tent on the piece of land, you know. Which, in my view, if Minister Mariana really want to build a church for, for fellowship, that that's so much she should have looked into a long time from she knows so she got to take on this gospel thing and she, and cause you can't say that she love preach. She really love preach and you can't take that from her. She, she love preach. She love preach the word of God. You can't take that from her. She love our God, she love our Jesus. I just saw it in go. You see? But in my view, she has go about it the wrong way. You see? She has go about it the wrong way because he was going now. When you try to start something, you start, you try to start big and you try to start, you know, with this glamorous thing, yeah. you are going to run in a whole heap of criticism and you are going to run in a whole heap of pushback from people and, you know, they're not going to really believe you, say, I really a church you want to build for win souls or a church you want to build for praise God. The man thinks you just want to build one big mega building where you can have you know, for sure say you're rich, for sure say you're the on top, for sure say so forth and so on. So, in my view, the best thing to do when you want to start a ministry, you have to start small. You see? You see all the piece of some first food where you get, and the piece of food where you get all the people I show them what you You have to just say, yo, you believe in a way you do. You believe, say, yo, you have to do this for God. You believe, say, so you have to win souls. You have to take your money there and buy a piece of land. You see? You have to take the money there and buy a piece of land. And when you buy the piece of land now with the money, you have to come and tell the people, them, say, yo, you see, the money we may get from some first, and the money we may get from this, and the money we may get from that, and the money we may get around this. So. I hate me use buy that piece of land, you know. So right now, the people are going to believe you, say, you really, really want to be a place where you can fellowship. You see? And when you buy a piece of land now, you put one tent, you buy some chapel and you put one tent upon it. Because enough of the mega church when you see a Jamaica. Error blear them church and enough of them church when you see a Jamaica with a mega church. And start in some little place. The man when you Andrew, when you Andrew Scott, around a Prembo call, you know much time they kick him out of the building based on when you hear. Eh? Yeah, man. You have to start somewhere, but you have to start small. And if you believe in it so much, you have to take your own money and invest your money in it. You can't come and tell the people them just after the bat say, Bloop, you want two million dollars to build a church. No. They might laugh off of you. They might, they might mock you. They might ridicule you. And the problem is, the problem is, right? 
Jay and I say, power, power, faith, and poor money. No man, the whole of the church, them, the whole of the mega church, you want to see a Jamaica, they start small. Me don't know no church in Jamaica, but me just go see a big, you know, pretty building or one big spacious place or one big tavern. Me don't know no church you built so in Jamaica. From me, a little youth, I grow, me know the church and smart, then start some little tent, then start some little, some little, some little building, then start some little classroom. And them, them grow, them grow. And the people them know, the members them over the years are them people that actually keep them crusade and keep them, them where the something with them, with them the harvest and all them things there, and raise money and start build on the church. And some of them actually move from one location to another location. You see, they move from one location to another location and. And so then go about it, building the church where them, where, them, where them aspire to build. But if you aspire to build a major church and you just come and dash it on the people them so boom, we want to build one two million dollar church. People broke nowadays, people don't have no money. We still in a recession and all them things. Nobody are going to really, really you know, encourage. And you're not going to have a lot of cheerful giver. As the Bible says, God loves cheerful giver. You're not going to have no, no help of cheerful giver. You're going to have two little people who come and give you some $5, some $10, some $20. You see? You call them check for you and care for you. You see? Nobody now going to come, come. Right now, the people in prefer take the money and give to. Britney them over, over TikTok. They rather take their money and give to World Dog them. They rather take their money and give to. Them people rather take their money and give to all. Miss Handsome them. And the next youth, they will attack politics. The people they rather take their money and do them something there. And get some, something for laugh about and something for. Something for entertain them. Pretty than and them people there. Them people they go there. If pretty than right now, put up something so she want. A hundred thousand. You know, for her run a little nurse. She, think she must have run a nursing program. And she must have a ton nurse or something. If she put up one right now, so she want a hundred thousand over her TikTok. Me, me feel more confident so she quicker for raise, raise a hundred thousand. Than you where I say, yeah, try to build a two million dollar church. You go praise God. Because people don't see it as a necessity. At this point in our life, when people can just go on YouTube church, people can go on Facebook church, people can go on Instagram church. People, and, and there's a lot of things that turn off the people them from the church. Holy part thing that turn off people from church. When you look on the internet, you see all manner of things that go on at the church where people them don't want to go to no church. The people are not interested in going to no church because the people them feel like say, Yo, when they go to church, they are coming so much military orders and them are, everybody have watched them and everybody have forced them and everybody have, have feel like them have to command them and all kind of things. You look in a church nowadays, you see pastor give back people money, say, all this, all this, a thousand dollar me want, a two thousand me want, a ten thousand me want, a hundred thousand me want, and them things that turn off the people. Them. You understand me? I say, I see a video today with the pastor woman, I tell the people, them, say, she want eight thousand dollar for the woman start singing. But it's not like them are say, give what you can because she's a good singer. Them, them not make the person. It's a difference when you make somebody sing and then you say, if you appreciate and you were, and you were blessed. If my mother church, I remember our church, we used to go to church with my mother. My mother type of church, you know, the person sing and if you were blessed by the singing, you can give what you, you have. Nowadays, another day you're in a church again. Nowadays, you're here. Just bring no money, come. I don't want no five dollars. I don't want no hundred dollars. I don't want no two, two, two hundred dollars. At ten thousand, I want you. Bring five thousand, come. And people are call you by your name. People are call out people by their name. Brother Brown, yeah, man, bring ten thousand, come right now. The Lord tell me if you tell you, give me ten thousand. And them things they are turn off the people them out of the church, brethren. No for them things they are turn off people out of the church. So people at a point now in a in a our world, you know. 
where people feel like, you know what? Me not go to church, go, go partake in this nonsense. Me go just praise God from right wish me there. Me go just praise God, you know, by myself. And that's the same thing there, you know. So when you come now, Miss Miss Minister, and you say you want to be that two million church, two million dollar church, you're not going to get the support there. Eh? You're not going to get the support there. Eh? And the problem is, and Ram even talk about it, right? The problem is, you are very thin skinned. Meaning, we will always have, you know, things will trigger, we, are, we get upset, but, but you are very thin skinned. For a minister, for a minister, you make too much things bother you. For a minister, for a woman of God, we supposed to f- the, 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 more, the the length of time we you do this now since you gone to church, mama. You have to be more firmer than how you stay right now. You can't be so touches and so thin skin for a woman of God. You have to love them things that you look a worldly and them out the way. You see what I say? You can't be so thin skin because I watch this now. You watch what the people must say about you. You see? You watch how the people them attack. And you react based on what people are saying. And when you do that now, it comes in like say, people now look on it and say, I never God tell you to do it in the first place. Because if it were God that told you to ask you two million dollars, you that did stand steadfast and say, when you, when you can go and talk, me I get this two million. Yeah? And no matter where nobody have to say, you that did stand firm and get your two million dollars. See? But notice, everybody oppose it and everybody, some people are mock you, some people are laugh, some people are this. And it gets to you and, you, and, you, and where you do you suspend this up? You take it down, you know? You take it down and say, yo, you know, I'm not in front of nobody again. <laughs> you know, it's basically like, you know, say, you know. <laughs> you know, take down the sitting because the people ain't get to you. And no, it just looked like say yo, God never tell if you go out to go tell nobody if you ask to tell if you ask nobody for the money. You, know? you if you believe in a way you do mama, you cannot make remember say we you know we are worldly and you know we are turned back Christian, we are worldly and we are sinner. I have to left them sitting there to we. Tolerance is where you, you have to have better temperance and tolerance. Especially if you are on social media. You can't be so thin skinned, mama. You must have said, Mama, if you keep on a little bit of money. <laughs> Yo, I can't laugh for blows, die. Yo, don't give me no joke, man. Don't give me no joke, brother. I can't laugh, man. You see? We just try to chat to people and come. Just eat. I don't want to go to Japan. See? You see? You want to say, I want to keep on a little bit of money. You see? What's <laughs> up? So, the fact that you make people and get to you to the point where you're you going to take down the something. You give them another thing for say, you know. It's another thing you give them for talk about, you know. It's like you say, yo, my love you don't talk about me. My love is like, no me have where I wonder to myself, say. Me have where I wonder to myself, say. If you had to do this, you for people and talk about you. That me I wonder now, you know. Me I wonder if you if you if you had do it for people and talk about you. Because me think no me I wonder say when you when you sit down and say you want two million dollars for build a church. It's like you just yo know, me feel like yo know, listen me <laughs> me think say we're not tricky people, you know. Me under the things we're not tricky people. Um um when you umbre 
I said, may I use one person and bash the church? I said, bash the church. This is where you come from, but may I bash the church? I said, say nothing bad about the church. I said, no. I said, it's not just that for me. I said, say nothing bad about the church. I said, I use no one person for, 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 for bash the church. I said, I see some video circulate to the pastor. They tell the people, and say, then for bring thousand and two thousand and twenty thousand come. And in my mother days, church, when we used to go to church, my mother, the people, it was a different approach. People used to say, give what you have, because God loves a cheerful giver. You had to miss me a bash church. You may bash no church, man. When it was hard for me, so. Then, when I go do my dead and gone, who I go bash? I who I go hard for? Me day attack, well balanced, and a reason. They had to miss me a bash church. Me not bash no church, man. The man say, yeah. No, what me I say is, me really have fear wonder. Your fam, your fam, your money. Um, if you go by the studio to the what voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear my voice so and so? Tomorrow I'm going to be sitting there. Yeah, but I know still if the time is of the essence. See? <coughs> yeah. So, so what I say is, I feel one life, them people, I know what it is. If you don't do that, something here. Yeah. I want to know the outcome, I want to just do it the same way. Because if you are going to put up that you want $2 million for the bill of church, you must expect pushback, you know. If me come out right now and say, I want $2 million for the bill sitting, then my people are going to say, I'm going to lay in the music, take your own money and build it. People are going to push back at me and say, Yo, $2 million, it's on a way. You have to say you need two million dollars for build school. You have to say and you can't even say two million US dollars neither. Two million you're crazy. People are gonna say, you know what Jamaican money dollar that? You think I look a bit of money that people? A whole heap of money that we are talking about two million is only a bit two two million, you know. A whole heap of money that you know people. Right now, if I get 2 million US right now, you know, so 2 million US can turn me into a billionaire right now. I can't take 2 million US right now and turn a billionaire. I can't turn 2 million US right now in a 10 million US in a less than two years. 2, billion, two million US right now, I can't turn that in a 10 million US in a less than two years. Worse, the real estate market are booms so right now. Yeah. Me, I go take. Me, I take one. 750,000 out of it. I go buy one piece of land. Prime piece of land, me, I buy. And the next 1.25. See? May I, may I take the building out of the ground? May I leave the building out of the ground and then I start collect people money? You see? And may I go make deal with some people where I can give them. Like I go find the people, the investors, and I go say, yo, I can give you five rooms at this price. And I can give the next Monday ten rooms at this price. Two million US dollars right now, I can turn that into ten million. I mean, you see what I say? Easily, right now, with the way the, 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 the market are run. Well, if the market crash for me, you know the process, then I get checked. You think the market can dip rapidly for you, you can just get up tomorrow morning and everything change. You see? So we have to about $2 million. Two, a whole lot of money we have to about bridging. We have to about over 300 million Jamaican dollars. Is the man say? So, me think so when somebody come forward 
when somebody come forward and make them strong statement the bridging, you have to expect say. You get pushed back. And if you don't solid, if you don't firm, if you're not firm bridging, you are, you are gonna get frustrated. And then and you're gonna change your mission, you're gonna bought your mission, you know. You're gonna bought your mission and you're gonna say, alright, me will do it myself. It's like you say to people them say, yo, you know. Watch me. Watch me do it myself. Like, you can't prove, you can't do things out of vengeance. You can't do things to prove to people say, yo, wanna never help me, but look how me do it myself. That is not, in my view, that is not of God. Because if it is of God, it have to have a level of humility. When things is of God bridging, when things are connected to any form of godliness you are dealing with, it has to be, you know, with a level of humility. It must come with a level of humility bridging. It can't be, yo, who no never help me? So just watch me, I go do it myself. Mm-mm. Before, so you have to just know, say, yo, your spirit, you see, when you have a spiritual connection with whatever you believe in, you know, you sit down and you plan things properly and you know what you put forward more time, you know. Because you know, say, yo, you know, everything you do, it has come from a place of humbleness. It has come from a place with no arrogance and anything there. It has come from a place of love. It's yes, when things are come from a place of love and you put it forward. Even if it not look good to some people where are dealing with hate. From you put it forward out of love, Bridget, nobody can touch it, you know. And nobody can stop it and nobody can take it down and nobody can move it. Understand that. But my opinion and my advice to the minister is if you really want to do a church, sister, start small. Yeah, man. You have to start small. Because I watch this now. You hear me now say, it's unrealistic. Your, your goals were set. You can't see no proper planning or put towards your goal. It's like it's just impulsive. And you, and you, you have to be very careful when you just act. Based on your impulses, you just say, Yo, we get up and me just feel like I want to build a church and I go put it out the pants, watch a media, say, I want two million dollars. I don't, I don't check the bank and the bank say, so I can't buy a place. I can't get a place, but I can't get, if I get one million dollars from the people, then I can't get a mortgage. A mortgage? Two million dollars for build a church. And you have to take one million dollars from people. And you're going to borrow the next one million US dollar from the bank. Come on, sister. Yeah. I don't know who you have around you advise you. I mean, I know which spirit I lead you. But that doesn't make no sense. Tell me how that makes sense now. It's just unrealistic goals. That not have no planning behind it. That are just treat, you know, your act after your impulse. That not have no planning behind, planning behind it, sister. You, you are going to get a million dollars from people. And you are going to go into the bank with that million dollars. You <laughs> see? And you are going to ask them for another million dollars. So let me ask you a question now. At this point, when we in a recession and the interest rate is so high, how much interest you think you're gonna have to pay on one million dollar dollars? And that me, me, you see, yes, when somebody just get up on their head at and them thing always at me, you know. You just show so you not think. 
It just shows you're not thinking, sister. You are not get a million dollars from people. And you are going to borrow one million dollars from the bank. Where are you as collateral? The house on the beach where you come, where you, where you say buy the other day? You are using a house on the beach for collaterals. Alright. How much your house on the beach value? I may have thought this because you, and I like mix up, mix up something. You, so you buy it, you just buy a house on the beach. You have a house on the beach. And you say you have an ex. In, on property where the, where the, where the, where the court tell you to sell. To pay the woman with. Say you make, you make her dog bite you. So let's say we know about them two properties there. Without digging into your business. But are you come forward and ask the people for the GoFundMe money? So we are